This video is going to show you how to install Mission Planner on Ubuntu Linux 16.04 and launch it. Please note, this install was not performed on a clean install of Ubuntu, so the dependency you, that you need to satisfy as part of the install may look different than in this video. Additionally, I have tested this, launched, connected via Mavlink, and loaded a previous log file successfully. That isn't what I would call a deep testing cycle, so you may encounter bugs not addressed here. That said, everything I did test worked without any error or issues. Finally, most of the work will be done via command line. I'm sure there are UI tools to do much of the work I'll show here, but I felt that doing this in a terminal would eliminate ambiguity where possible. I'll publish the text versions of the instructions along with the video below, so if you need to copy-paste commands, please use that as a supplement to this video. First, you need to add the necessary aptitude repositories to install Mono. Mono allows you to run .NET applications in Linux. A link to the instructions that I use to install the aptitude repo are in the text below, but I have it right here. And so I can simply copy and paste these commands that are made available here. because I actually ran multiple commands there and it needed to have my password, I'll need to run the second commands a second time. All right, now we need to install Mono and the other dependencies that are needed. Again, the command is below in the text. There are less disconsuming versions of Mono that you might opt for besides the Mono Complete. This video does not go into that, so if you're concerned about conserving space on your machine, please review forums and online material about which subcomponents of Mono are necessary. Also, Festival is not part of Mono itself, but it is used here for Mission Planner to enable speech output. Next, you need to have permissions to connect to your robot. To do so, you need to be a member of the dialout group on Ubuntu. A note if you're pasting the command from the text below, be sure to replace the bracketed your username with your actual username in Linux. Also, if you're not on Ubuntu or another Debian variant, you may need to be added to a different group. For the permissions to become effective, you do need to log out and back into Ubuntu. Since I have already added this group before to this user, I won't need to do that here. Next, you need to download the zip version of Mission Planner at version 1.3.30. Do not get the latest or any version newer than 1.3.30 and don't download the MSI installer. Don't worry, we'll enable upgrading in the app later. Once you've downloaded it, you need to extract the zip file someplace that you want it to be. For my download, I created a folder in my home folder and then extract it in there. If you want to do the same, use the same command that I do. You can now test running Mission Planner simply by navigating to where you extracted the zip file and using the mono command to launch missionplanner.exe.
If you see an error referencing system.speech in your terminal window behind the splash screen, it's because you took a version newer than 1.3.30, which uses libraries from .NET that are not present in Mono. Go back and get version 1.3.30. When you launch Mission Planner for the first time, it often prompts you to update. You can simply click yes at that point and it should update and restart. If you don't get prompted and you'd like to manually invoke an update, you can simply click on help and check for updates here. You should note this might take a little while. I'll fast forward through the video so you don't have to sit and wait for it here. The previous segment of video truncated unexpectedly, so I'll apologize for the jump here in the video. When the update does complete, it will launch again and you should now be on the latest version. When Mission Planner restarts, it might ask you about connecting to an online service and about an initial wizard setup. You can opt to skip out of these, but you may find them to be very useful if this is your first time running Mission Planner. Next, we'll create a launcher to make it easier to start Mission Planner by not needing a terminal window open every time you want to run it. You can find online forums for ways to put shortcuts in your various menus as well, but for this video, I will only create a launcher on your desktop. And a reminder, you can find the text to copy and paste below. This command brings up the create launcher wizard, and you need to fill it out like this. We'll leave the type here as application. We'll give it a name. You can make the name anything you like, but I recommend Mission Planner. You then need to actually put in the command to run Mission Planner just like you did at the command prompt. The difference being here that we do need to put the full path to the exe file. And remember, replace my username with whatever username you extracted the Mission Planner zip file in. You can add a comment optionally. And one really nice feature is that they did ship an icon with this particular distribution. So all you need to do is go into the folder where you unzip this and write in the parent directory. You'll find these icons right here. I use the larger one. Click OK. And you can see we now have a new desktop icon. Double click and it should launch Mission Planner for you at the new version. That's it. Hope you liked it. Happy botting!